Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy, and welcome to the 1.23 updated Northwest Airfield. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the new supply crate event that spawns in. Um, so where you can find these new supply crates, because they're really overpowered. And also for you server owners out there, I'm going to show you the file so that we can look at um, how to add some more supply crates in as well, kind of how they work. So... The Northwest Airfield 1.23 has been thinned down. There's a lot more open space. Um, uh, but what makes it a real PvP hotspot is probably going to be these supply crates because they have an awful lot of loot in them. And there's three main types. There's the military one that you can see there. And there's this white one and this orange one. And if I just turn on... Well, I'll tell you what. We can just hop down and take a look, can't we? Um, let's hop down here. And what you should see here is there's a bison there. In fact, let's turn on ESP so we can really see what we're what we're looking for. We don't miss anything. So there's some combat sites. Uh, there's a bison. There's a KA wooden guard. There's a, a mag there as well. In the aeroplane, there's also some other military stuff. And then if we come over here around these ones, we've got surgical gloves, MBC herd lockpit, dust mask. A uh, couple of cans of food, and this is with the vanilla settings. NBC radiator, re respirator, another lockpick, more surgical gloves. Um, what's over here? So another drink, canteen, plastic bottle, kvass. So you, you know, you're getting an awful lot of stuff in one place. So where these spawn is, they spawn here by this aeroplane on the northwest airfield, and they also spawn over here by this aeroplane now they had none have spawned at this particular time but they spawn kind of around these crates so they're really close together so you can imagine getting to the northwest airfield if you go to this area and that area you know within a couple of hundred meters of each other you can get an awful lot of good stuff but that means there's going to be an awful lot of people up here in the atc and hanging around picking people off no also we've got a chemical strike that has just come in there so here's a look at it kind of on the the big map so if you have a little bit rusty with where things are obviously you spawn along the coast and this is a northwest airfield now this is the um 1.2 version 1.22 version of the airfield that's on i survive but it gives you kind of a rough idea by the hangar and then uh, kind of in the middle of the um in the middle of the airfield there so these only spawn on Chernerus, not on livonia but i'd imagine they will probably be adding them to uh, livonia as well um also, what I would say is that there could well be some updates when the game goes live as well. So I'm recording this before the actual official release date, which I think is the 7th of November. So that's where you're going to have to go to find them. Um, it's going to really increase player numbers, I think, coming to this part of the map. So watch yourself when you go up there. Okay, so for server owners, how do these files work? What happens? Well, if you go to your events.xml in your Turner server, you'll find there's a new event called Static Airplane Crate. And there's meant to be nine of these that kind of trigger. Um, and they spawn in the supply box one, supply box two, and supply box three. Then if we look at the map group proto for the supply boxes, we can see supply box one um, spawns in, here we go, uh, food. Supply box two spawns in weapons. And supply box three spawns in clothes and tools um, and they both got so you've got Luke max 8 Luke max 8 there and in the events what have we got Luke max 4 so they're spawning in a lot of stuff and that you know they're very close together um, so yeah it, it's a great event to have so the map group pro tells you you know what they spawn in and where it spawns in around the particular crate and if we go to the event spawns that gives us the coordinates so if you want to add some more in what you could do is increase your nominal um, as well and you could increase your max and min a little bit as well so you have more in however what you probably really want to do i would have thought is perhaps change and add more coordinates and to get coordinates you know you can just go to i survive pick somewhere on the map click it down uh, press ctrl c and that will copy that to the clipboard and then you could paste that and copy and paste um, just following the, the correct format um, to put your X and your Z and your angle as well to play, place more static airplane crates around. Um, so using this method, you could also add these to Livonia. Just remember to add the static airplane um, 
uh, static object mesh supply box 2 de 1 and 3 as well to your types that XML make sure they're in there as well um, and it's a really simple one I mean one of the things you may want to do is you may want to say within your events you could take like a static object supply box and slip it in with your um, helicopter spawns so for example if we went to uh, static bonfire static Christmas tree contaminated areas fridge static heli crash so you could add another child to static heli crash and have it as one of the um, supply boxes so you wouldn't get helicopter crashing you'd have a supply box be there which I think would be would be quite a cool thing to do um, and um, and have those around the map as well I'm sure pretty soon we'll have people creating a events where we have the um, supply boxes with smoke coming from where they are as well um, you basically put a smoking helicopter under the ground to do that and when that happens I'll do a separate video about that so but as you can see nice and easy it's easy to add some more in um, and it's easy to add more coordinates um, and they are really an, an overpowered event that's really gonna make players come to the particular place where, where you've placed them um, I guess another place where you might want to place them actually if you wanted like a hardcore server a uh, more hardcore server you could move them from the northwest airfield and you could put them say um, whoop, you could put them at say uh, Riffy in the gas couldn't you or down at um, Pavlovo or Pavlova is it um, down here in this gas here so people not only would have to get all their NBC gear to get to them but there we go I think it's nice that they've sorted out the northwest airfield and by adding these um, events to the Northwest Airfield and only the Northwest Airfield, it's really going to drag people uh, in this direction and encourage more PvP fighting, that sort of stuff. Anyway, there we go. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.